Hey guys, you're watching Vidalada TV. It wasn't easy, but I have imported a Lucid HD7 from the United States and today I want to make a little review about it. I bought this red dot from webbyshops.com and I had to pay $269 for the Lucid HD7, $39 for the screw-in Magnivia and for shipping $78 plus $100 for the German customs, so totally I had to pay $486. That's a lot of money and I want to see if it's well spent money now. And here we have the new site, the Lucid HD7 Generation 3, it looks like an ACOG. It's made from an aluminum cast frame and it's totally rubber coated, so it's waterproof. And let's make some measurements. Include batteries. Uh, the weight is around about 13.92 ounces. Uh, to show this in gram, I switch the mode. No, that's not. Come on. Here we go. 394 gr uh, gram. I add the two time Magnifier. And remember, the battery is included. And with the Magnifier, we have a total weight of 451 gram. Or fifteen point nine two ounces. Okay, now let's have a look at the details. Um, all caps are sealed with a rubber O ring, so they are totally waterproof. Um, they are secured. So you can, can't lose them in the field. The click value for vintage and elevation is a half MOA by click. The Lucid HD7 is powered by a AAA battery. You can find them in any hardware store or wherever you want to buy your batteries. And here you can see uh, this cap is uh, sealed with an O ring too. Here we go. And the small AAA battery, it's cheap. You can find them anywhere. And it's enough for 1000 hours of continuous using. And that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Further we have an on-off switch on the side, which is a mode switch too. And for manual regulation, uh, brightness up and down. Normally it's regulated by a sensor on top, but if you shoot from an dark area into a bright one, you can switch to a manual mode and can adjust the brightness of your sight. To switch from the outer to the manual mode, you have to push the on off button one time, you see it uh, the side flash, and now you can regulate your brightness up and down. And yeah, that's great, that's absolutely great. If you want to switch back to the auto mode, uh, a short push on the on off button, you can see uh, the side it flash again and shows you that you are back again in the auto mode. 
the Lucid HD7 comes with four different reticles, you can switch them and I will show this later. At this point I want to show you how to use the screw in magnifier, it's a treated one and yeah, you can screw it in whenever needed and screw out when not. It's fast, it's easy and for 39 bucks uh, well spent money. You have an unlimited eye relief and you can shoot with both eyes open with and without uh, the Magnifia 2. Here you can see the different retrickles. It's a dot with uh, two MOA sides. And we have a drop dot with crosshair. The chevron reticle, like an ACOG, I love this thing. And a circle with a dot like the EOTech. And you keep your zero whenever switching between those uh, retrickles and I will test this later on the shooting range. And here you can see the mounted sight on my AR-15. In the second part I will test this sight at the shooting range. If it keeps um, his zero when switching between those uh, reticles and I want to see if it's shockproof. It should be up to 458 succum and yeah I want to test it. So stay tuned for the second part.